Hey guys, it is Julie here with Tip Ranks, and today we're taking a look at two high yield dividend stocks that pay out on a monthly basis. So let's get into it. All right guys, welcome back and thank you all so much for being here. Like I said, today we're taking a look at a couple high yield monthly dividend stocks. Now both of these companies today are REITs or real estate investment trusts, and they are known for their high dividends as they're required to pay out 90% of their earnings and distributions. So we're gonna take a closer look at these REITs, what it is that they do, those dividend details, and of course, what Wall Street analysts are predicting for their stock. Don't forget to head over to tipranks.com and check out our newsletter center if you wanna receive unique investing insights to your inbox every single week. We have both the Smart Investor and Dividend Investor newsletter, so make sure you check those out. Also, there is a big thunderstorm going on right now, so I do apologize if there's any background noise and stuff. I'm trying to film between the thunderclaps, but we'll see how that goes. Now let's get right into these two high yield monthly dividend stocks. First on our list is a REIT called Modiv, trading under the ticker MDV. Their stock is currently priced at $15 per share. They have had some ups and downs this past year, currently up 3.8% over that period, and have seen gains of 32% in the last six months. Now the name Modiv Industrials actually comes from monthly dividends. Motive focuses on long-term net lease properties in the industrial and manufacturing sector. Their long-term net lease approach allows Motive to own the land under a manufacturing facility and to collect the monthly rents, with the tenant getting the security of a long-term lease and taking on responsibility for the taxes, insurance, maintenance, and other expenses. Their model benefits all parties, allowing the owner to sit back and collect rent while the tenant firm manages the property as it sees fit. Their portfolio contains more than $614 million in gross real estate value, and they collect over $41 million in rent every year. Their weighted average lease term is 14.3 years, giving stability to both sides of the agreements, and they're able to realize approximately 2.5% in average annual rent increases. And as I said before, they do pay out their dividend on a monthly basis, with their next ex-dividend date coming up on September 28th. Their current dividend is $0.10 cents per share for an attractive dividend yield of 9.35%. Motive did share their most recent quarterly report a few weeks ago on August 14th, and they came out with a pretty big earnings beat. A positive earnings per share of $0.35 cents came in well ahead of the anticipated loss per share of $0.02, cents, and their revenue came in at $11.8 million, which was up 16.7% year-over-year. The stock does currently come in with a strong buy rating based on four current analysts. Their average price target comes in at $16 per share, which would be an upside potential of nearly 6% from current prices, and the stock has taken a notable jump up today. Down below, we can see the recent stock ratings, some at that 3.45% and a couple with upside potentials of 17%. Our second monthly paying REIT is Gladstone Commercial. Their stock trades under the ticker GOOD, or G-O-O-D, and is currently priced just above $13 per share. Now, they did fall off here at the start of the year and are down 24% overall, but this could make for an attractive entry point. They are slowly clawing their way back here, up a couple percent in the last six months. Now, this REIT focuses on commercial properties, including industrial and office sites, and they prefer to buy properties with proven strong tenants. The company's holdings are located mainly in the Midwest, Southeast, and Southwest. The states of Florida and Texas are especially represented among Gladstone's portfolio holdings. As of the summer, Gladstone has 136 properties in 27 states. They include 110 different tenants, and they boast an occupancy rate of 96%. For their monthly dividend, the next ex-dividend date is coming up on September 20th. And they also currently pay a dividend of $0.10 cents per share. That gives them a current dividend yield of 10.46%. Their most recent quarterly earnings report came out near the start of August on the 8th, and the company did post a wider-than-expected loss. They saw a loss per share of $0.19, cents, missing analyst forecast by a good bit there. But on the other hand, they did see their core funds from operations, or FFO, come in at $0.41, cents, which was up from $0.37 cents in the previous quarter. The Gladstone commercial stock does currently have three analyst ratings coming in as a moderate buy. That is two buys and one hold with an average price target of $15.67. That would be an upside potential of over 19% from current prices. The most recent came in 25 days ago from B. Riley with an upside of over 14%. 
And on the low end, we do have this buy rating with an upside of nearly 7%. So that is a quick look at two REITs, both with high dividend yields and paying out on a monthly basis. Let me know your thoughts on these two companies in the comments down below and some of your other favorite REITs out there right now. I always love hearing from you guys. Please keep in mind these videos are never a suggestion to buy or sell any specific stock, just providing some insight and entertainment, so please make sure you always do your own research and due diligence. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you back here next time.